So I picked a lot of plum tomatoes last night and before it gets too humid again, I'm going to make some sun-dried tomatoes. I used to do this in my sunroom in the house so I could keep critters and weather out of the tomatoes. But now that I have my little window greenhouse, uh, I'm going to use it for the first time this year. This little structure that I got out of someone's old basement uh, has been ideal for starting my seeds as well as now I've been drying. And today I took one of my handy window screens that if you've watched my earlier videos, you'll see that I collect old window screens from anybody who has them who wants to get rid of them. So they're multi-purpose. And today I've cleaned this one last night, put one up on the very, very top, and I'm going to cut up some of the uh, plum tomatoes and make sun-dried tomatoes. They should dry very quickly in here. So, so basically I just take a plum and a good sharp knife and I have a little plate. I cut off the flowering end and the tip and then I just slice them. So pretty much I've just cut this up into, I guess they're about a little better than an eighth of an inch slices. And then I'm going to put them on the screen. Just going to lay them up there. I'll take a picture when I'm done. Leave a little space between each one. So these really tiny little plums that I have, I'm going to try those as well. So here they are. They're kind of small, but let's give it a try. I'm going to put them up on the screen. I definitely think I'm going to go find myself a little step stool. I'm on the screen so I can reach. Now, it depends on the air circulation in here. The side windows are all open. There's just netting to keep the bugs out. But sometimes if I've had to turn them. So in another day, I'll keep checking on them every day. So maybe tomorrow I might have to turn them over. It just totally depends on how the weather has been. Okay. So so I did half the screen this morning. I'm gonna let it go at that. That's, that's plenty for my first run. I'm gonna have many, many more plums. I didn't wanna use them all up today just on this project. So I have room for another side. I put a brick in Before I go in for the evening, I check on the tomatoes one last time. And look, they've already started to shrivel up in just a matter of a few hours. So good morning. I am very pleased with how well these are going, but I'm going to turn them all so they don't stick to the screen. I'm literally taking a fork and I'm going to flip them every single one. It shouldn't take too long to do. Um, these are for me. So if I do touch them with my finger, I'm not too worried, but look how great they look. So I've got good air circulation in here, and that is really the key to dehydrating things. So um, they definitely need a little more time. Uh, perhaps by tomorrow morning, they'll be done, which would be perfect timing for the heat wave that is coming and the higher humidity so that um, they won't mildew on me. Now, there are several ways you can preserve these and my method, preferred method, is um, putting them in a little jar with olive oil. Um, I don't like them frozen. The house, I don't have air conditioning and the house gets very humid and they don't keep just in a jar on their own. They really need to be preserved in something. So um, I will show you that once I collect these once they're really nice and dry. Wow, 24 hours. These guys are done, done, done. In fact, a couple of them like cooked, really cooked. I'm sure they'll be okay. 
but they're done. So I just got a canning jar, regular lid size, picked all the tomatoes up off the screen and layered them carefully without smashing them down into the jar. As you can see, they're rather loose fitting. I layer them loosely so that when I put the olive oil in, there will be plenty of room for them all to be immersed in the olive oil. I'm choosing to use an avocado oil for this batch of sun-dried tomatoes. I think it will complement the tomatoes very well. Next, all you really need to do is physically pour the avocado oil or olive oil into the jar over the tomatoes. That's it. Then you shake it up a little bit, make sure all the olive oil gets amongst the tomatoes and put your lid on nice and tight. Then all you need to do is store it on a cool, dark shelf until you're ready to use them. That's it.